Any guy that you're attracted to now, I guarantee you, the older he gets is the more attractive he gets, meaning he's going to have more and better options than you. And those options are not going to be your age. They're going to be younger than you. Mm-hmm. And you're not going to be able to compete with those options. I'm just being honest with you. There's other girls in Nicaragua that are, just now, that are just now getting My over here. And they're, 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 right now, there's a girl that just got to Miami from Nicaragua. She's in 18, 19. He can date her for two or three years before he marries her, and she'd still be younger than you. So if he's an attractive guy, he has he has these he has both options. Why is he going to prove? Why was he going to pick the girl that's already been in America long enough to start somewhat becoming Americanized? And also, why is he going to pick the one that he has less time of youth with? If a guy marries you now at twenty six, he only has four years with you until you're thirty. If he marries a girl that's twenty two, he has eight years before she's thirty. He has enough time to, like you say, get to know each other, um, and then put some babies in her. So he has time to, he, he literally could spend two to three years getting to know her, two to three years married to her, and then another two, three years putting babies in her before she's even 30. That's a good point. We like you when you're young, hot, sexy. That's what we want. Once you get older. But what about once I get older and I'm I'm married with you? You're going to leave me for the one that just got here? No. It's the same situation. No, it's not, no, it's not so the same marriage, situation. No, it's not the marriage same situation. Marriage or having baby doesn't mean that we're going to be together forever. You no. can leave me for a 22 no. years old. A lot of women use that extreme to justify their indecisiveness. They, they try to use that excuse to buy themselves more time and convince themselves that they're not making a mistake by bullshitting and pussyfooting around. That's not how it works. That's like me saying, oh, I might as well wait to, to start my business because I could start my business and it fail. Wait, what? <laughs> if that was the case, then you need, you need to have already been married. So now that this marriage is coming to an end, you still have enough time to find another husband. If that's the way you want to look at it, if you want to look at marriage as being that type of risk, that means that you need to get married as early as possible. So if he does fuck around in two to three years, you can get rid of him and still have time to be valuable to another husband. I'm just saying, because look at it this way. Let's say you try your strategy. You wait till you're 30, and then he does decide to go with a younger girl. Okay, now you're 34, 35 years old, and now what guy are you going to get now? You, you see what I'm saying? What guy is going to want to marry you now? You've already, 60? Hmm? A 60-year-old like yeah, but, but you, 70? But, but you're not about gonna, to die? But, but that can put me in their wheel? But you're not going to want the 60 or 70-year-old. Why not? You're not. The only thing you can be attracted to is what he's acquired. Well, guess what? They could be a 45-year-old guy that has just as much. Right. It's more successful. It took him less time to get there. You gotta. You can't be. You can't be afraid to take risk. I think a lot of women nowadays. It's all about. Well, what if I do this and what if this happens? And you always think of the worst That's thing that can case, happen. Though. And also, we're gonna throw out some statistics, statistics here, guys. All right, mm-hmm. we, take your notes. Mm-hmm. We know that most of the time when divorces happen, it's the women that are divorcing that the guys. Yeah. So it's seventy to eighty percent of women will file for divorce against a guy. So. He, the likelihood of him leaving you is slim, so mm-hmm. you keep that in mind. Like, we're not going to say he won't cheat with a younger woman. What we're saying, yeah, is we're not talking about cheating. Men, men aren't the ones leaving the women, though. The woman might leave for that reason, okay? But you're the one that threw your marriage away, okay? He cheated on you. I get it, but you throwing your marriage away for what? Because this is another thing we see women do a lot. They will make it bad for everyone just to get back at the guy. It's like, so you'll shoot yourself to shoot the guy. That's kind of stupid. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Right. And I've, there's many of marriages that are still together because I had to intervene and give that logic. There's many women that came to me like, yo, I'm going to divorce my husband. I'm like, listen, get, get a calculator out. And put, put your phone on calculator. Okay. Mm-hmm. I want you to put in how many people are in your, your, your household. Oh, well, we have two kids. Okay. So it's four of you. If you divorce your husband because you're upset right now, because you're emotional, because he cheated on you or whatever. Okay. That's four people whose lives are going to be ruined. But if you suck it up and take one for the team, that's only one person that's going to be miserable. miserable. Just listen to the logic that I'm trying to put here because Mm -hmm. I don't know why this misses women. (sighs) They act like, look, I'm not going to be miserable. Everybody else has to suffer. I got to hurt this guy back. It's like, yes, but hurting him does not unhurt you. You get what I'm saying? It's like a it's like a gang mentality. But oh, you killed my boy, so now so now we're gonna kill you. Well, that didn't bring back your boy though. That just get that just got you a murder charge. So now you gotta go to prison now for 20, 30 years for killing somebody because you're trying to avenge your boy that was murdered. But it didn't bring your boy back though, is the point. So that's the same mentality women have. Like, I gotta break up with him. I have to punish him somehow. I have to destroy his new relationship. I gotta keep my kids away from their father. But but you're punishing you yourself, your kid, and the guy. 
but it depends not everybody thinks the same like in, i don't see divorce because of cheating that way because i want to punish him because he 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 cheated on me with a younger person how's, i'm how's divorcing him better, i'm divorcing him because he disrespect me how does that make it better though i'm gonna be free with someone else that will really love me and they really gonna the be for me that? why not two things like, just there's, happen. there's a billion people in the world why would i be with someone that is cheating oh, on me when there's a lot of this, people out there because the next guy is, is prone and to I, cheat also and if i and if i know my value as a woman i know i'm pretty i know i have i have beautiful a beautiful soul why would i stay with this person that is cheating if he cheated once oh, he's gonna do it again hold on, hold on, hold, so it's hold not on. about trying to hurt you hold on, hold on, i'm trying to protect hold on, hold on. me and my family there's a lot of holes in that logic though Number one, if you could prevent the next guy from cheating on you, then why didn't you prevent the first guy from cheating on you? And also, but, hold on, hold on, hold on. We don't prevent. Hold, hold on, hold on. You didn't just understand what I just said. You're saying that, oh, well, if he cheated on me, I'll leave him and find somebody that won't. Well, if you have the magical superpower to, to go no, find a guy that won't no, cheat on you, why uh, that's you not what I sign? say. That's not what I say. I said that I will find someone else that will value me. That's my point. Then if that's the case, why, why didn't you do that the first time? Because he didn't value me at no, first. Because because there's no, way, really no he, he because, there's, because there's no way for you to control that. That's what I'm trying to say. You're acting uh -huh. as if you can control it next time. If that was the case, why didn't you control it the first time? The next thing is, just because he cheated on you once does not mean he's likely to cheat on you again. In fact, he's probably less likely to cheat on you again no, than the new guy so. cheating on you the first time. And just because he cheated on you does not mean he... I, I was getting there too. And then you make the assumption that he doesn't love, love you. you. That's yeah. your logic. If you cheated on him, that would mean you didn't love him. Men and women are not the same. I yeah, can we tell don't. you because, you know, we're men. Yeah. And I've never cheated on a girl because I didn't love her or didn't like her. I've just learned to not do it anymore because it's not worth the risk because she can't handle it mentally or emotionally. Mm -hmm. So now I have to just not do it at all simply because she doesn't understand the logic. So that's just preventative. But what I'm trying to say is I, I come to that understanding by having made that mistake before. That doesn't mean I didn't love my girl. So what I'm saying is you're leaving a guy that cheated on you under the pretense that the next guy is somehow going to love you more. Probably not. The guy that cheated on you probably loves you. You just can't grasp that. You know so, what I find interesting? I think that women, they're, I hate to say this, but women are very inconsiderate. Modern day women, you, you guys don't really care about what we think. If I told you, if I told my girlfriend, even though she, if she caught me cheating, I said, I still love you. She'd be like, yeah, you don't love me. Like <laughs> exactly. basically you could tell a woman something. You'll say like, I did this today and I made pizza earlier and then i went to you know to the store and they'll go no you didn't so so <laughs> what i find it's 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 the truth you guys are so mean <laughs> i'm just gonna say it you're mean and you're inconsiderate and a man will literally say i did this this and this and you're like that's not that's not what you did so it's it's very interesting look because i'm not i'm not often no no listen 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 i'm not saying that you should like being cheated on i'm not saying you're going to get cheated on what we're saying is if you have a family of three kids you should highly consider staying with your man that's probably the better option in some cases and listen hold on hold that's on always a better hold option. on he's not hitting on you he's listen you listen here's you. how you here's how you're really getting cheated on right if he's giving that bitch more time mm. more effort money more attention more money and more sex than you. So 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 you're in first place. We're running a race and this bitch is third place, you're first place. But you're mad because on Sundays he didn't he doesn't come home sometimes and he's at the strip club. Are do you really want to divorce your husband because he's uh, you got three kids, you're 5 years in your marriage. I mean, you got you, you got a <laughs> way sure. out. But listen. Because because I have a long way to go. What would I be wasting but hold, time with but hold someone? On, but hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Children with him. That's not wasting time. You're raising children. Right. Yeah, and, I don't want to raise my children with someone that is cheating on it's uh, Yeah, no, but but they're not cheating on he's not cheating on his children though. But I'm no I'm not going to tell him don't don't take Okay, it take it out of yourself. I think we should give up on this one. Take, well, hold on, hold on. Women aren't just going to get it, man. They're just going to destroy their family over something like but what you about, guys destroyed the family. No, we didn't. No, no, we didn't. Like no, we didn't. What about the because, kids? Yes, what about the kids? It doesn't matter. Like you can go every weekend, every week, whenever you want to see them, you can see them. We're not gonna have a family. No, that's not how it works. How it works is that fathers need to be in the same house with their children. They need full then, access. Then if you guys know and have a brain and you know 
can understand the fact that okay you marry you shouldn't be looking at another woman so cheating because that will destroy your family oh, or your won't. woman <laughs> trust <laughs> which like, is the most important no, no. thing in a relationship in a marriage if you don't trust your That's husband not the trust. then nothing will work no baby you know what the trust is he pays the bills on time he protects the family he keeps a roof over the head he disciplines the children he makes good decisions that that uh benefit the entire family yes that's that's what you need to trust him to do that was a long list of things and you're over keep doing uh, that hold on, hold, hold, divorced. hold on and you just focused in on the thing that affects the family the least here's the uh, scale I'm cheating on a, and, and, and i want you to, i want you to understand this i'm not advocating for cheating i just told you i don't do it yeah we, do we're it not, it's not worth the yeah, risk i don't cheat yeah. either what i'm advocating for is logic i'm advocating i'm advocating for math if there's 10 things that this guy is doing for this family Cheat, cheating has nothing to do with his family. Cheating only has to do with your feelings, because the only way cheating affects let me let me let me, let me let me finish. The only way that cheating affects the family is if the woman goes out of her way to make the children savvy of it. That's first of all, that's grown folks' business. The children shouldn't even know that that happened. That's number one. Number two, as long as he doesn't have children outside and he doesn't have to introduce his children to their brother or sister from another mother at some point in time. Then it's, then it's also not an issue right there. And then the next thing is, if there's no resources going out of his house, going into another house to take care of another woman. And, that, and, that, and that's even tricky because if he's making enough money that he can take care of his family and have a little side thing, a little side piece. So, so that's the thing is that it's not destructive to the family. It just hurts your feelings. That's it. It just simply, there's, it just simply hurts your feelings. There's cultures that does that, you know. Muslim people, it's they do humans. that. called humans. <laughs> They're called humans. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but, but, the There's, fact that you say that because you cheated, and then I want to end the marriage because of that, it will be my fault to to because I'm destroying yes, the family. Yes, because you don't know how to handle your emotions. Yeah. He doesn't want. He doesn't. Yeah, he doesn't want to end the marriage. That's like somebody insulting me or someone upsetting me. So that no, hold, means, on, hold on, hold on. That's like someone upsetting me. And then I and then I get violent and I, and I and I beat that person up and I committed a crime. Now I got to go to jail. The people that I work with, uh, the, the, they're all bit, my business is all fucked up now because I'm gone and people are counting on me. I'm not there for my family now. I just fucked it up for everybody because I lost my cool. It doesn't matter if what the person did was wrong or not. Does my response make the situation better or worse? So if, if a woman got cheated on, yeah, she's upset, she's hurt, she's whatever, but she's a fucking adult. You have to learn how to deal with your feelings. So what you need to do is you need to work through that. You need to communicate with the husband. He's already going to be apologetic. He's already going to be guilty. He's already going to be in the doghouse or whatever. And you got to work it out. Marriage counseling, work it out with your, with your in-laws, work it out with amongst yourself. You don't go to the court and let a stranger decide how your assets are dibbied up. And, and how, how many hours he gets to see his children. This is ridiculous. So women have to get over that bullshit. Because I'm telling you right now, women are only doing that because they can. Because if it was like things used to be, when a woman was 100% depending on the man the for money, shit? that's a whole other conversation. Though. It's not the same. And if you want to say that it's the same, then how come the woman doesn't go make the money and pay, and pay the bills? If you want to sit here and keep playing that it's the same, it's not the damn same. Because when a woman makes more money, but you, you, and a woman you is paying the bills, different things, money financially, the money, the the man is supposed to provide. Exactly, and the right? woman is supposed to but, keep that pussy cheating, locked up. But sh uh, but cheating is not the same thing as providing. I don't think you understand what I'm trying to say. I'm not comparing cheating and providing. I'm comparing men and women. Mm -hmm. What I'm trying to say is men and women aren't the same. So the same way the man is expected to provide. Is the same way the woman is expected not to have sex with anyone else but her husband. Why? Because it ensures the fraternity of her children. Mm -hmm. That's number one. We know those are his children because nobody else has had sex with her. Mm -hmm. The next thing is he's providing for her. He's feeding her. He's taking care of her children. So if he goes out and he cheats on her, again, it's just feelings. If mm -hmm. a woman cheats on a man, it's not just feelings. It's a hell of a lot more than feelings. I'm paying for you. So the car that I paid for is the car you drove to go meet this other guy? The phone that I paid for is the phone that you're communicating with, on him with? The money that I spent on pads and tampons and whatnot is the same pussy that you're giving him? Are you crazy? And then if you get pregnant, we don't know what's going on. We don't know whose kid it is. That's the look, look at it like this way. Let's say you're if you're if you're working for a company. I'm the boss, you're the employee. So you're going to my competition. You're giving them right. You're giving them the drop on how many sales we make a day. You're 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 
you know, calling out of work, right? It, it's like, I can go on vacation. So, and I'm not saying you should be cheated on. Again, we're not advocating for women to just cheat. Okay. But what I'm saying is if the boss says, you know what, I'm going to take a one month vacation. I'm going to go to France. Y'all got this. You got it. You got whatever. Mm -hmm. The employee or the assistant is going to take care of it. If the assistant starts fucking around, going in other jobs and doing other stuff, it's far worse. So men and women aren't the same. The way women cheat is the same. And the reasons why men and women cheat are totally different. If you cheat on me, mm -hmm. you probably like that guy. Or he has an in on you, meaning... Well, there's a problem. It's a problem. It's a Something's big problem. Wrong. Something's wrong if the woman cheats. Right. We, we cheat, and if we cheat, we're going to stay with you. Yeah. You guys cheat, and it's one foot in, one foot out. Yeah. Meaning, then and, and maybe and maybe, and maybe you're not thinking you're going to go with that guy, but like I said, once that guy's in the bed with you, when he's doing his thing to you, you're in a trance. Mm -hmm. He can start yeah. talking stuff, it's, you know, speaking stuff into you. Hey, tell him, tell him you're going to do your girlfriend's hair. Um, and you're just going to be gone and you may have to stay for like seven hours because it's a long braids you're making. Right. He can just start. He knows when I'm at work. Right. Exactly. The, he, he, and he's a man. So I, he's he's I he's understand the point. he's got like, the drop. You guys cheat because it's the moment, whatever. There's no feelings involved. Thank when, you. when we cheat is because you guys, you are not giving me what I want in a minute. Exactly. Thank you for watching the first case study class of the Mentuition Academy. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and hit the bell notification so that you are notified when we post our most up-to-date content. Also, please subscribe to our brand new Instagram page as we will be posting exclusive behind-the-scenes photos and videos that won't necessarily make it on YouTube. Class is dismissed.